Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And I want to make a video talking about is PUBG easier than it actually seems. This is something that Devin and I have been talking about for the past few days. Is, is PUBG actually easier than it seems? So it, it, PUBG is a very seemingly difficult game, right? You have a hundred people, you gotta kill each other, last man standing wins. Very simple concept, right? And you're dropped on an island, of course. Now, what Devin and I have noticed is there was a game, okay? Um, we both had VSSs, we both had silenced Glocks, and we both had M16s. And, hey, he likes to mess around with me, where he'll just take a silenced VSS or Glock and, like, shoot at me a couple times next to me and i'll be like what and i'll be like oh where where oh dang it it's devin you know and we'll, we were doing that to each other like pretty close to the middle of the circle for a long time and then about 40 30 people left alive we said eh, we should probably try and then we messed around to 25 and then we were like okay we'll try and we ended up winning right we didn't find anyone to i think we found one person to kill and then we were like okay we might as well start trying and then we killed some other people and won so the game, you know, we can mess around to 40 or 35 people left alive and not get spotted. And then we'll take we'll have games where we just, let's drop this place and do this and that and the other. And it's just, we've been messing around in PUBG. We haven't, we don't, we play a lot more games where we mess around than play the game seriously. And we still do just as good as if we play the game seriously. Because I think what it is, and this is in, by the way, first person only mode. This has a big thing to it. I think it's first person only mode, out of sight, out of mind, for a lot of people. If you play FPS only mode, you realize that you can sneak up behind people so easy. It's so easy to do that. And you can get really far without even getting a kill. And I think it's just because PUBG is such a... The map... On Xbox, you know, the, the first map, the normal one, is so big and spread out. And there's so many places where you could just go and scavenge and do this, that, and the other. That after about, like, 100, 200 games, that you just get used to being able to avoid everyone. And then you don't die. You just don't die. It does not matter what you do. It doesn't. You could just chuck flashbangs at each other, chuck frag grenades at each other. You won't die. And I just... I think in, in teams, especially duos or squads, squads, oh my gosh, we can mess around all day and not even worry about it, right? We'll crash cars into things, we'll do all this stuff, we're not going to die. And I think it's just in PUBG's design that it's such a big map that you have to traverse such a land that, like, I think it's a very, actually it shows a flaw in the game, which is that it is somewhat equipment based. Right, if you get stuck in the last circle, maybe there's, let's just say, four of you alive, and you have a shotgun, you're not going to win. Right? It's just a fact. You are not going to win. And if, like, if me and Devin got the spawn with M16s, someone else didn't get the spawn with M16s, and they got the shotgun spawn, or the Tommy gun spawn. Right? So it's, like... When we try, you know, when we try or we don't try, we still find, you know, equipment. We have the equipment luck of, you know, good or bad, you know, whatever. And we just, I think PUBG is very equipment-based. I think there's an inherent flaw with the game that it's equipment-based. Because if, if we can mess around and get same results, then if we're not messing around then maybe our skills and the way that we play does not matter as much as our equipment. A perfect example of this is me and my friend Ragnar, right? Um, he had a sh like a shotgun and a submachine gun, I believe. No, he had a scar L. And he got shot at from someone with a scar L. I had an M16, the guy with the scar L ran out of ammo, so he swapped to his submachine gun and started shooting at me. I melted him because I had more range than him. Then his teammate came up, same thing. Melted him because he didn't have range. Right? If I didn't get the M16, I would have died. Right? If I if I had shotguns, I would have died. And it's like 
I get that random random element, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's gonna have to change if the developers are saying they want it to, the game to be competitive, right? And if we can mess around or do good or try and do the same exact thing, maybe get a little bit farther when we try, of course, then where's the skill gap? Remember I made a video about the skill gap? Where's the skill gap? Hashtag, where's the skill gap? I don't know. But, you know, of course, this definitely has to do with how good we are at the game because we do naturally drop into, for some reason, we end up dropping into somewhat, um, what do you call it, somewhat safer areas, you know, we all, especially in squads, we drop, you know, maybe we don't spawn with someone or, and then we just have a set of houses to ourselves, we get some loot, we run and just go. We don't, you know, we don't drop into high populated areas. So really... That's it. I want to know your guys' thought. Do you guys play PUBG and mess around and still do pretty good, relatively well, like top 20, top 10? I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. But that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me. You can subscribe if you're new because I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.